Welcome to Veggie Trends, where we make eating your vegetables a whole lot more fun. My name is Mackenzie, and today we're going to be talking about this little special vegetable right here. This is a spaghetti squash. I'm going to share with you some information about it, so I hope you'll stay tuned. spaghetti squash maybe 20 years ago somebody invited me over to their house it was somebody I didn't know very well and they made this for lunch all they did was cut it in half cook it in the oven and then they just put butter over it which at the time I wasn't a huge vegetable eater but I really liked it and for years after that I thought well I should get myself a spaghetti squash and cook it up do you think I ever did that no because it was a vegetable and I wasn't into eating my vegetables but now, I use spaghetti squash in a lot of different dishes, and I really recommend that you give it a try. It's a great, mild squash. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's not going to have the, the sweetness of some of the other winter squashes, so it's not really going to affect the flavor of your dish. You could use this in curry dishes. I tend to use it in my Italian style pasta dishes with the tomato sauce, but you can really use this for a lot of different things. Now, is it going to fool anybody? No, it, it does still have a bit of a squash texture to it, so you're not going to be able to put it into your normal spaghetti and expect somebody's not going to notice something's different, but I think if you're trying to get rid of some um, processed foods in your diet, the spaghetti squash in your spaghetti is a great way to get started. This guy is going to be high in a lot of different vitamins and minerals. It's high in fiber, so it's going to be great for your colon. It'll help lower your bad cholesterol levels by removing some of that from your, um, from your digestive system. And it's also going to be high in vitamins A, vitamin C, you're going to have some of your vitamins B, vitamin B6, niacin, folates, all of these are going to be uh, in pretty good quantities in here. Also, you're going to have iron and copper, uh, some potassium, magnesium. I mean, this is just a great vegetable for you to start adding into the mix. Uh, there's about 42 calories per cup in your spaghetti squash. Uh, another great thing, and for most of your squash, is you can eat the seeds. So if you want, when you cut it open, and we're going to remove the seeds, you can keep those and you can roast them and eat them. They tend to be very high in fiber and in some of your dietary fats. So the skin on your spaghetti squash is going to be pretty tough and hard to cut through. So you want to be really careful when you're cutting it. What I do is I tend to get a towel like this and put it underneath to keep it from rolling. And you're going to have your hard stem side over here on this side, and then this side is just your end here. That's how I like to get my knife started. I'm not sure how safe it is. Once I have a pretty good score in it, I can push the knife all the way through, push through that hard end through this side and then once you get to the stem, the stem is pretty hard to cut so you just want to pull this baby apart. So as you can see right now it looks like a typical squash on the inside. Uh, this is all your seed material. You want to get a big spoon out. If I can find one and remove all of your seeds. Again, if you wanted to, you could remove the seeds from here and roast them and use them. I'll just have to make another video for that someday, won't I? Give these guys a try. I love the smell. It smells very much like a pumpkin. All right, so I've removed all of the seeds, and so what you're left with is just two halves like this. And you can already see some of the stringiness of um, the spaghetti squash which will be much more apparent once it's done cooking. 
once you have your spaghetti squash cut in half and the seeds removed, you can put these face down on a baking sheet. Because these can dry out, a lot of people like to put water in their baking pan. Uh, I've never really done that. I find that the spaghetti squash is fine, especially if you're putting it into a sauce. These are going to go in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes. The skin on them will turn a somewhat translucent color, and that's how you'll know they're done or close to done. Um, so let me get these in the oven. As you can see, my spaghetti squash are now out of the oven, and I just want to take a minute and show you what you're going to get uh, on the inside. So we're going to flip these babies over. They're pretty hot. I'm going to just take a fork and pull the meat away from the, the edges. And as you'll see, the fibers come out looking quite a bit like spaghetti. That's what makes the spaghetti squash so much fun. We're going to let this cool off a bit. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite. You can eat it straight out of the squash like this if you want. Mm. It has such a nice flavor. I really enjoy spaghetti squash. I'm, of course, adding these four to my spaghetti squash primavera, which is currently cooking down. I think one of the great things about spaghetti squash is that if you're careful removing the meat from the inside, you can save the rind and use it for your dinner bowl for that night, saving on dishes maybe. And I think if you have kids, it's a great way to get them interested in eating vegetables. I think it's fun to switch things up, do things a little differently, and using your rind as a bowl, to me, just adds a little bit of fun to your dinner. There are so many great things you can do with your spaghetti squash and so many great health benefits. I hope you'll give it a try in your own cooking in your kitchen. Again, this is Vegetrends, where we make eating your vegetables a whole lot more fun. My name is Mackenzie. If you enjoyed today's content, I hope you will subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I hope you'll check back. We always have a lot of great content. We have more recipes coming your way, some great tips and tricks for adding plant-based whole foods to your diet. Thank you.